Bradgate Park is situated in the Charnwood Forest area of North Leicestershire. The park covers an area of 850 acres, or three square kilometers. Bradgate Park was the vision and legacy of one man, Charles Bennion, who in 1928 bought the land and gave it in perpetuity for the quiet enjoyment of the people of Leicestershire. Today, it's the most popular attraction in Leicestershire and enjoyed by over a million visitors each year. During the 15th century, the Gray family of Gruby, headed by Thomas Gray, cleared the land and the construction of Bradgate House began using red bricks made only half a mile away in kilns situated in fields known locally as the Dumbles. The mansion was set in the centre of the old Ferrers hunting park beside the River Lynn. To accommodate the grandeur of the building, fences were removed and new boundaries were built, enlarging the park by six or seven times, resulting in the park as it is today. Thomas Gray died in 1501, but his son, also Thomas, completed the work. At one point, he moved the village of Bradgate to another location, most likely Newtown Linford, so that it was out of sight of the Grand House. And so the village of Bradgate became one of the many lost villages of Leicestershire. Fine gardens were constructed as a tilt yard for jousting and a lovely formal Tudor garden with raised walkways and parteries once stood next to the house. Although the gardens were altered over the centuries, very little remains. The most famous occupant of the house was Lady Jane Grey, known popularly as the Nine Days Queen of England, who together with her father was executed in 1554. The Grey family then left Bradgate to live in exile in Essex, but returned in 1603 when they were restored to royal favour. They finally left in 1719, after 500 years in the area, to live in Staffordshire. And by 1790, the house and chapel was already in ruins. Old John Tower, which has a commanding view over Bradgate and is visible from much of Leicestershire, was built in 1784 on the site of an old windmill. It was most likely built as a folly or mock ruin. Alterations were made in the mid 1800s when it was converted into a viewing tower, complete with fireplace, carpets, and many home comforts to enable the seventh Earl of Stamford to watch in comfort the training of his racehorses. The war memorial, which stands at the end of the ridge occupied by the old John Tower, commemorates men of the Leicestershire Regiment who died in the Boer War and in the two world wars. The hill is one of the most familiar landmarks of the county. The landscape of Bradgate Park is rocky moorland with a covering of coarse grass and bracken. Several spinneys of woodland, pine and deciduous, are enclosed by stone walls. Some trees in the park have been dated by growth rings to 1595 with some of the ancient oaks even older, nearer 800 years old. There are some exotic and notable trees in the park. Queen Adelaide's oak was named after the occasion in 1842 when the widowed queen celebrated her 50th birthday with a picnic under the tree. In the same century, the 7th Earl of Stamford planted fine spreading cedars from Lebanon along with a monkey puzzle and other exotic trees collected during his trips abroad. Since 1241, the park has been home to herds of red and fallow deer. And fallow deer, which are smaller, in summer have dappled coats with white spots. The herds roam freely in the park's wild acres and are carefully managed by park rangers. In 1871, Cropston Reservoir was built, adding more peace and tranquility to the scenery along the western boundary. 
the Leicester Water Authority purchased 180 acres of the park to build the reservoir to supply water to the expanding town of Leicester. It's now an important site for wildlife, particularly wild fowl, as is the river, which has been declared a site of special scientific interest. Bradgate's survival as a haven for such a diverse range of plants and animals requires the ongoing commitment of visitors, staff, and Bradgate Park trustees. The county of Leicestershire covers an area of over 800 square miles at the heart of England. At its heart is Bradgate Park, the county's largest and most popular country park. <laughs>